Hey, how's it going guys? JK here. I've been taking a bit of flack lately in my moonshiner business, so I was thinking I need to test out some new firepower. With that in mind, I'm off to the gunsmith to get me a pair of those navy revolvers. Why don't you come along? Let's see what these puppies can do. Hey buddy, I'm looking for a pair of those navy revolvers. Have you got anything to show me? Yeah, those are them. I'm going to need two of these. Excellent. When it comes to customizing my firepower lately, I'm only interested in barrel length, rifling and iron sights. In my opinion, that's all that counts. When you take the grips on offer, they're only there to take your money and make your gun look pretty, which is cool. I get it, but uh, not for me. I just want to kill people with the least expense. Whoever said length doesn't count obviously had a short one. In my opinion, length definitely counts. Well, that's my opinion. That's certainly going to make a difference in my book. Okay, now let's rifle this barrel. Okay, boys, we're almost done here. Just a pair of iron sights, and we've got the ideal package. I'm a bit low on cash, so I'm tucking into my gold bars for these purchases. And lastly, we have to uh, top up on the ammo before heading out to see who requires killing. As I said, I'm looking for a pair of these revolvers, so let's just fast forward this next purchase and customization. Excellent. Thanks again, buddy. Appreciate the service. We'll definitely be back for our next loadout. Think about it and right, guys, let's head on out and put these dual-wielding Navy revolvers to the test. Here we're testing to see which of the Navy, Schofield or Lamette revolvers have the fastest fire rate and reload speed. In this test, we are dual wielding a pair of Navy revolvers, a pair of Schofield revolvers and a pair of Lamette revolvers. Obviously, we have to test apples for apples or guns for guns. <laughs> and because the Lamette has a nine round chamber as opposed to the Navy and Schofield only having a six round chamber, we are only going to time the fire rate and reload speed from firing and reloading 12 rounds while dual wielding the revolvers. Okay, first up is the Navy revolver. So the Navy revolver fired 12 rounds in 4.79 seconds. Next is the total time to fire and reload 12 rounds for the Navy revolver. Total time to fire and reload 12 rounds from the Navy revolver is 11.19 seconds. Right, next up is the Schofield revolver. Right, the Schofield revolver shoots 12 rounds in 4.92 seconds. Next is the total time to fire and reload 12 rounds for the Schofield revolver. Total time to fire and reload 12 rounds from the Schofield revolver is 8.85 seconds. Next up is the Lamatt revolver. The Lamatt revolver fired 12 rounds in 4.65 seconds. Next is the total time to fire and reload 12 rounds for the Lamatt revolver. Total time to fire and reload 12 rounds with a Lamatt revolver, 13.45 seconds. Right, I think an efficient use of my time would be to use these Navy revolvers while clearing out revenue agent roadblocks. That way I not only get to evaluate the revolvers, but also gain a bunch of valuable XP at the same time. I think that's a great plan. Right guys, let's look at some facts. The Navy revolver is a high-powered weapon, delivering a hot ball of lead at a thousand feet per second, holding six rounds in the revolving chamber. Its range is listed as moderate, its rate of fire also moderate, and reload speed moderate. 
One of its outstanding features are its accuracy and notable feature when firing the Navy revolver. It's got a listed base price of $275. Man, listen to that unique firing sound. As far as I'm concerned, its rate of fire is more than you'll ever need if these body shots to death are anything to go by. I mean, you can put two slugs into the enemy's gut in quick succession, which puts him down for good. Let's try a little more finesse now with some headshots to test the accuracy. Wow, that's impressive. I'm not quite sure what it is, but headshots seem to find their mark quite easily. I'm certainly enjoying this weapon. It's definitely a keeper for me. I think it's going to be me, myself and I and my two Navy buddies from here on out for the foreseeable RDR2 future. <laughs> hey man, it's a done deal. I'm sold, that's for sure. I don't know what it is guys, get yourself a pair or get one at least. But as you fire it and shoot it, you guys will feel it too. It's hard to put into words, but you know what I'm saying. You gotta be a you know you gotta be an outlaw to understand these things. It just feels right. So guys, if you enjoyed the video, destroy the like button, shoot subscribe, and shoot that bell icon straight in the nuts. Thanks again for watching. Catch you in the next one. Cheers for now.